even under the rules that people use about Dragon Rage, if this thing Dragon Rage is me, doesn't matter, I have the second gym badge now. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, I'm so overexposed in this shot. <laughs> Welcome back to the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Randomized Nuzlocke. If you missed the previous episode, go take a peek at that bad boy. Quick team recap, we'll catch everyone up to speed. It is currently 9.30 in the a.m. I haven't slept yet. I'm so tired. <laughs> I've been slept in like two and a half days. But we got Mac, the Latios, level 10. <laughs> Rocking out with a side wave, heal block, hidden power, and helping hand. We got Juju, the Entei, level 12 with Bite, Leer, and Ember. Cory, the Jirachi, with Wish, Confusion, Rest, and Swift. Did I mention it's level 14? I don't know. We got Cresses. The Claydol with Teleport, Side Beam, Mudslap, and Rocket Tomb. And Laura, the Vespaquen with Sweet Scent, Gust, and Power Gem. I think I have another one. I do. We got Mar, the Polyrath with Bubble Beam, Hypnosis, Double Slap, and Submission. Level 21. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. My brain is working at about a third of its normal capacity, which we all know is just, uh, just a recipe for, for disaster. Uh, Jim? Jim. Jim. Jim, my friend Jim, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's gym time. We go find the second trainer, which is behind the rocks all the way on the bottom left. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I see her. <sighs> I hope you guys are having a great, I don't know what day this video goes up, to be honest, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, but I hope you guys are having a great whatever day this is. If it's Monday, I hope you're having a great Monday. If it's not, I hope you're having a great whatever day it is. I forgot to turn these lights on. There we go, and change them to be random random colors. I noticed this yesterday, I forgot to turn them to random ass colors, so they were on red for like, I don't know, an episode or two? I don't know, whatever. Alright, Alakazam, more like, um, uh, Alakablam, fucking got him, because I'm gonna body this man. I'm about to dumpster fuck this dude with a bite, let's go. Let's go. Where did my, okay? Sorry, I got distracted because I lost my coaster for a second. No crit, 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 no crit. Good, we good. Easy money. Get out of here, Alaka. Blam. <laughs> I don't like that I did not speed right there, and that I didn't one shot. Please, <laughs> please stop going for confusion. I'd appreciate it. I'm begging you, don't go for confusion again. Thank you. <laughs> Kinesis, yeah, do that instead. Lowered accuracy? I don't know how bending a spoon lowers my accuracy. Maybe I'm just really entertained by a spoon. Have you ever looked at a spoon and just been like, Wow, how'd he do it? Whoa, with his amazing mustache. I wonder if I could grow a mustache like that. It looks like a very French-ass mustache. You'd think I'd be able to grow better facial hair as I'm part French. Face, not nah. legs. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever talked about this on, uh, like, in a video, just in general. When I was in uh, high school and elementary school, I've had hairy ass legs for as long as I can remember. Like, Jesus Christ, they've been at the same. I know you can't see. They've been at the same hairiness for I don't know how long. So in high school. And elementary school, I hated wearing shorts. So for Jimmy, had to change into shorts because I don't know of reasons. People made fun of my fuzzy ass legs. <laughs> Picked on me for it. Come on, man. So I, I fucking, I hate wearing shorts. I still do. That's why. Look at this shit. Sweats, baby. Look at this. I don't even know if you can see it. I got sweats on for work. <laughs> I finally swapped out of my pajamas. That and sweats are hella comfy. I didn't used to. I went so long without wearing sweats in elementary school through high school because, um, reasons. Because, um, uh, reasons. I don't think I have to get into it. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> man, I used to love wearing sweats too. If they, if there was a, 
YouTuber that sold. I always look for this too, by the way. I just like I just want to throw this out there. I always look for YouTubers that make like sweatpants for their merch because everyone sells shirts and wow, good for you. Sell they sell shirts and cups and sometimes hats. I wish we had a little more variety, please. Come on, can we get some? Can we get some nice steel mugs that you know I can put my coffee into? Or some some sweatpants? That'd be great. I'm just saying. I'm just listen. I'm not telling you what to do, but like, come on, man. <laughs> I'd buy that shit. I look. I look for it all the time. I don't even know if Teespring has that as an option. Maybe I don't know. There's like when it comes to merch and stuff. There's so many options of like where you like where you words when you're like looking to make merch. There's so many places you can go to. A place where we can make fucking mugs instead of just coffee cups and sweatpants please and and hats i think the only person i've seen that has hats as an option i think it's Corey. i think that's it and that's through streamlabs i'm pretty sure i'm just saying <laughs> i'm look look i'm just saying don't listen to me but please more more sweatpants please or joggers I think the only difference between joggers and sweats is like joggers are kind of like they breathe a little bit better because sweatpants don't really breathe that well, right? But they're super comfy. They're basically just pajamas. I sheesh. Why am I talking about my preference and what I wear? Uh, for my, for I, I, you know what? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> I should actually have a new shirt coming in this week. I think this week actually I got a lot coming. In. I got. Uh, new headphones, which I'm really excited for. I hope they're coming in because they're in Winnipeg right now. So, depends how fast Canada Post move, moves their lazy fucking ass. <laughs> and then the other one is uh, a new shirt that I have coming in that I'm very curious to see what it's like because it's like a full, it's like a wraparound design, I think. The only problem I have with like wraparound designs is. Uh, a, they're a lot more expensive, and B, I find that they're not usually the best quality. The only one that I had was from, I don't even remember who made it. Anyways, it was like, it was like a JoJo one, and it had the Moodle, 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 Moodle fucking everywhere, and it, they sent it to me in a small, I ordered a large, and they sent it to me in small, so I'm a fat boy. So I just really accentuated my, uh, my, my baby belly or whatever the fuck you want to call this i'm so fucking i'm so frustrated i mean it came out really good though other than like where the stitching was done on the uh like two halves of the shirt or whatever the fuck i don't know where it was like stitched together stitched together uh wasn't great but <laughs> anyways i don't know why I'm, i don't know why i'm talking about this i'm fucking battling random people in the gym talking about pants and shirts for some fucking reason Look, I just, I need more, th I just, I don't like wearing jeans either. I've grown to hate wearing jeans. Jeans are fucking hot. All the time, I fucking, I hate jeans <laughs> so much. Are you fighting yet? Doesn't matter, I don't have an actual psychic time move that would be useful. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Alright, I just, I hate wearing jeans, I love wearing pajamas, anything that's loose on my legs, <laughs> I love. I have a buddy who wears, like... Um, like, tight pants? What the fuck do you call them? Skinny jeans. I think you call them skinny jeans. Why? <laughs> if you're someone who wears skinny jeans, let me know why. If you're a guy who wears skinny jeans, just why? I've tried, I've worn them once. I've tried wearing them once because my mom thought it would be funny. They just, ju just fucking destroy my cock and balls. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know how else to put it. They just destroy my fucking junk. Like, it was so uncomfortable. Bro, what if you get an erection what, with these fucking skinny jeans on? You know how we talk about wearing sweatpants in school and you don't want this fucking massive ass dick to show? Your tiny, your little fucking, your little fucking dick to show? Skinny jeans though? Come on, man. <laughs> it's called, it's all in the underwear. It's called, it's called, uh, what is it? Sacks, I think? Just keeps everything separate. I don't even know if I'm in the right spot. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Sheesh, dude. I remember this gym. Anyways, that's 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 what I have now. I'm glad I'm telling you about what I wear. 
<laughs> I mean, it's never been a secret, really. I've walked around. I think I've... I'm pretty sure I've streamed in just a, just my fucking gotch before. So, that's a thing that exists. Oh, wait, it's not up anymore. <laughs> Eat shit, nerds. <laughs> Bro, I have no shame. I have so little shame at this point in my life. I just don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> Also, I don't know if you can tell, it's super bright outside. Because it's 9.30 in the a.m. Stop. It's so fucking early, dude. Because I've been up basically all night. I forgot to put on my glasses again. God, I talked about it in the last episode, or in a few episodes, a few episodes ago, how I'm trying to get better at wearing them more often. And then I just left them in my room. I haven't left my office yet today. How's that? I went and I grabbed... The fuck did I grab? Oh, I put some water in one of my fucking shakers. And that's been it. That's all I've done today. I've made like a cup of coffee. I haven't eaten anything yet. I'm starving. But I'm kind of waiting. I'm. This hits, right? Yeah, okay. I'm waiting for more TSRP stuff. Also, I've been reading the. Um, I've been reading a lot of the. Uh, kind of like QA stuff for. Uh, the, it's like uh, Ask RP or something like that. Uh, <laughs> It's something like that. Anyways, so I've been reading a lot of that because I'm, I'm just curious, you know. So, I don't know. It's just, sheesh. <laughs> uh, I just, I hope that I can squeeze my fat ass in there because it, it looks like a lot of fun. It'd be something great to stream like twice a week on Saturday and Sunday if I could get in. And if I enjoy it, I don't know. We'll see. I think I talked about it in one of my previous episodes that I put in a, to apply for it, and we'll see. What I've been reading is, with this one specifically, they got a ton of space for, like, basic jobs and shit, so they have stuff to bring people in, but I don't know. Bro, I've, I've fucking... I stress about, like, the stupidest things, like... I even said, like... The name stressed me the fuck out. No reason. Just a name. That's it. You just have to pick what to... That's fucking it. <laughs> just your legal name. That's it. What... <laughs> like, bro, not my, not my actual legal name, but like... The legal name for the game. Bro. That's stressful for no fucking reason. Oh my god. Whatever, man. I'm botting this fucking gym leader right now, by the way. <laughs> Let's go. Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> I don't want to be too loud, because, once again, early as fuck in the morning. I'm pretty sure my landlady's up right now. <sighs> but I don't know. What's coming in? I didn't pay any attention. Oh, Togekiss. Uh, I think we can body this with Chris, actually. So, we'll see. Also, don't know if we're supposed to record... Soul Link or not today? I really have no idea what's going on with that. Uh, but whatever. <laughs> I got so much stuff to record today. Like, I have so much. I'm like, I'm supposed to record some more episodes of um, uh, uh, Resident Evil 8, and I just I haven't recorded in like a few days. I really should. Like, I really should, and then I need to record, like, some indie games, and I just need to get, like, extra content made for it. The problem is, the problem I've ran into anytime I try to, like, run a second channel, I run out of content. I've played, like, half a dozen indie games, like, three days ago. None of them, like, they were all kind of bad. None of them were, like, none of them were good. Like, some of them were okay. They're just, like, none of them were that great, though. It was... I was actually really disappointed in, like, what I managed to grab. I don't know, man. Like, I was hoping, I was hoping to see better. That's, that's all. Uh, oh, you, mm, is this her ace? Is that why she's healing it so much? Okay, that's fine. Anyways, I was, I was hopeful for better games, basically. And when I, when I got, like, such... The subpar games. It was kind of like, ugh. Because when I make those videos, I don't want it to just be like me complaining about the game. I this game sucks. Game's no good. It controls like shit. Because that's not fun. 
and I'm trying not to just play constant horror games. The problem I have when I like over exert in like horror games, when I play horror games too much, they just don't become scary. It's like watching horror movies too often, like you kind of lose that. There's like no real edge to playing it. Like, cause you just kind of expect it, especially with like indie games that are like, especially with indie horror games, cause guess what? They base them, they're all based around the same shit of being like, oh, jump scares. Guess what? Jump scares kind of suck. <laughs> I have a whole ass opinion on horror games and what they do. Like, yeah, I think even, what was it called? <clears throat> Fuck, what was it called? Shit, I forget what it's called. There's a game where... Oh, it's called Do You Copy. Good horror game, for the most part. It doesn't... I think it has a jump scare, I believe. But, like, the rest of the game is built around just being a little unsettling. Uh, good, thank you. <laughs> Wait, did I actually get grass? Not hold up, hold up, hold up. I did, so the TMs we get aren't randomized. Interesting. Or the TMs we get from gym leaders aren't random. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So we can go deal with the galactic grunts now. So I guess we'll do that. I mean, we can also go get an encounter all the way on the right, but I, nah, I ain't feeling it, chief. Nah. Mm. Anyways, that's been my whole thing okay i'm gonna turn this off because you can you can barely tell the fucking difference it is just it's distracting me <laughs> it's bothering me you can barely fucking see anything this is a great one i record usually at night the thing with like recording th normally is that i usually like because i work at night when it's dark for that to be super effective uh i gotta record when i come home from work or something i don't know I'm sorry, does cut not have 100% accuracy? Did I just see that right? All right. Oh, Laura will teach it to you cuz, oh, why not? It'll get some, sheesh, it'll get some okay moves. TM all the way on the right. Please be something good. And I, I think it's a TM, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I got, I got grass knot again. All right. Uh, for all those grass types that I have. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh, is there anything over here? Looks like there should be something. No? Alright, sheesh, dude. <laughs> Alright, battle me. Battle me. Battle me. Battle me. Fight me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having such a good time. I feel like I've been enjoying the series a lot, even though it's just dumb. <laughs> I feel like I've been enjoying myself a lot with this with this series, though. So far, anyways. I mean, I'm only... How many episodes in? Like, I'm not that many episodes in. I just feel like I've been really just enjoying the dumb shit. <laughs> So hopefully, I always hope that it's enjoyable for you guys as well. You know, fingers crossed that that's the case. That you guys can enjoy this stupid ass shit. <laughs> I just realized Swift has no, I, I have no reason to have Swift. Because it's not like it can miss because we can't get sand attacked. Or sorry, it's not like our stuff can miss because we can't get sand attacked. Like our accuracy cannot be lowered. Chinch. <laughs> Alright, get the fuck out of here. I will definitely be swapping this out for other stuff later. Mm, fight me. I'm trying really really hard to avoid double battles, cuz... Listen, I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel like double battling. Landon, is that Landon Campbell? Fuck. 
even under the rules that people use about Dragon Rage, if this thing Dragon Rage is me, doesn't matter. I have the second gym badge now. Fuck. What do I do, though? Let me see how fast Garchomp is. Let me just see. We might not be able to do anything here. We might have to lose something. Oh my god, that's speed. 102 speed, by the way, just in case you're curious. Ooh, we're slow as fuck. I think he definitely has it. I think he gets to that level 1. Maybe? I have no idea. Hypnosis, please. Maybe he doesn't have it yet? Thank you. Does he not have it yet? Hold up. I mean, I'm not gonna compl- oh, listen, if he doesn't have it, I'm not gonna complain. He doesn't get it? Wait, is it only Gibble that gets it? No, he has it at level 1. And 7. No, he has it. Wait, wait, wait. Mm, he might not, because he has Sandstorm instead. Okay, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? He's asleep now. I don't fucking care. I don't, I don't, you know what? I'm not gonna fucking complain. He didn't use it. Please hit. Please hit. Come on, please fucking hit! Bro, I'm begging you to fucking hit right now. I'm mm, fuck. I asked so nicely to just fucking hit. Too much to ask for, hey? Don't start spamming it, please. No. He's gonna start spamming it now because we couldn't fucking hit! I know our act. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose something to. Oh, thank god. Okay. Please hit! Thank you. I'm so happy he didn't start fucking spamming it. I don't. Landorus? No, Shroomish. I don't fucking care. Whatever it is that's coming in, I don't care. It's not another fucking dragon type. Bro, I fucking hate Dragon Rage with all of my heart. Even at later portions in the game. 40 damage is a lot of damage. Even if you have like 120 health, that's three rounds and you're dead. Like, fuck Dragon Rage. Fuck Dragon Rage. Fuck people who use Dragon Rage. You're a bitch ass pussy. Fuck Dragon Rage. I hate it so much. Bro, get the fuck out of here with this shit. Uh, I'm gonna go buy more Healies because I lost super potions to fucking Dragon Rage. Jesus Christ, I hate I hate it, dude. I hate it. It's so, it's so toxic. Like, you think toxic is bad? No, no, no. I'd rather take toxic over fucking Dragon Rage. Every, any day of the fucking week. No cap. Uh, we'll buy 12 of these. This gives us 15. I was kind of hoping we'd get access to Great Balls. But, unfortunate. Unfortunately, no. Okay, that's fine. Are there maybe, I'm thinking about doing some, um, just, uh, just like as a little BT, BTW. I'm thinking about doing some, um, Sword and Shield shiny hunting a little bit later. I just don't know for what yet. But it is something that's on my list. The thing is, um, I need, or I want to do like, I want to get the shiny charm. Or, I mean, we could do full odds, I guess. That could be kind of fun. But, yeah, that's something I've had on my list for a little bit. What's the other thing? You got shiny hunting, and there's something else, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Well, I didn't heal. <laughs> Shit, I got brain damage, dude. I didn't fucking heal. Come on. Um. Anyways, yeah, that's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Because I think it could be... I think it could be kind of fun to do a little bit of... Do a little bit of shiny hunting. So, anyways, I just wanted to throw that out there. That's one of the things on my list that I want to do for streams. I want to get, like, a solid stream schedule and, like, games that I want to stream. I know Splatoon's on there. Uh, Mario Kart is on there. Uh, Breath of the Wild is on there. Some Sword and Shield stuff. I know one of my Sword and Shield things to do was um, uh, complete the Pokedex. It just ended up that I had someone who was willing to help me finish the Pokedex and then just never did 
So, I guess there's that. And on a little bit of the... And I mean, I've been on, like... Uh, I don't want to say social media blackout, but I've just been, like, off of social media for the past few days. Like, taking breaks from, like, Twitter and social media in general feels really good. <laughs> so I usually just black out everything, and I'm just like, yeah, no, I just... I don't fucking care. I've been popping on a little bit, and I think... Was it... When was it? I think it was today. I think it was earlier today. So I'm recording this on the 16th, by the way, just in case you're curious. Um, I saw that, uh, oh, what the fuck, United Gamer, he just had his, he just had his baby today, so that's cool, that's, that's like the only reason I was on fucking Twitter, just cause I was like, oh, great, <laughs> that's like, I don't know, that's like all I really care about on Twitter, that sounded really weird, but shit like that, like, I just want to see the positive stuff on Twitter, I don't, I fucking, it's so, like, shit's toxic, dude. I fucking hate it. Like, oh, I, when people, <laughs> when people are like, oh, I feel like shit. I feel down. Get off of social media. Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, all that shit. Just stay off of it. You'll feel so much better. Very specifically Twitter and Facebook. I find Reddit to be not that bad if you don't read the comments. Because <laughs> it's always, like, Comments are always so much worse, too, than, like, even stuff that I don't care about, or that I... <sighs> How the fuck should I say this? Even shit that, like, I don't want to see, I find coming up on my, on my feed a lot. Like, I'm just thinking of what I can do against this. Okay. Like, this is a few months old now, I think. There was someone who tweeted out about how if you if you only watch mainstream anime, you're not a fan of anime. Bro, that's not how this works. If you watch anime, you can be a fan of anime. It's not like, there's no, this, this, I think it's called gatekeeping when you try to do shit like that. That's fucking stupid. Don't be stupid, stupid. Why did this come up on my page, you might be wondering. Because fucking everybody that I follow was talking about it. And quote retweeting him being like, no, you, no, you're just this stupid. <laughs> I mean, bro, talk about just doing shit for attention, hey? No shot, like, fuck off. Honestly, if you if you truly believe that, if you truly believe that, you're an idiot. You're an idiot and kind of an asshole. Just let people enjoy what they want to enjoy. If you want to enjoy Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, uh, what else is some mainstream anime? You got fucking My Hero Academia right now, Attack on Titan. I feel like that makes it, be a self-proclaimed fan of fucking anime. Who cares? It's not like you don't have to watch, like the the more unknown shit to be a fan of it i can't think of anything that i've watched that's like not popular ish i think like let me think i watched kaiji which like no one fucking talks about surprisingly uh fuck this stupid little bug thing by the way so let me think there's I'm honestly, I'm trying to think of what I've watched. We had, um, yeah, we had Kaji, we had, uh, um, fuck. I want to say Never Ending Story. I feel like that's not right, though. <laughs> uh, For Forever Neverland? Some shit like that. I forget, I forget the name. I'm terrible at remembering names of anything ever. But, like, who fucking cares? Either way, who cares? I don't gotta watch, like, some fucking some some fucking shit out there that nobody's ever heard of to, to be a fan to be a fucking fan of anime anyways it's stupid that thought fuck it like that thought process bothers me because it's stupid and i feel like i feel like you discourage people from getting into it like who cares <laughs> plus can we just talk about how like anime is such a if you like anime, it's not like this quirky thing that you like. It's so embedded now into, like, American culture as well. Like, into North American culture as well. Like, it's su it's such a big... Like, it's become so popular in, like, North America and stuff, too. It's not like this... It's not like this Japanese ex exclusive thing. Like... <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like how... It's how, like, not liking sports... That's, that's not unique... It's not, it's not like a unique thing. I don't like sports. Pretty much everybody that I talk to 
none of us are really sports fans. We just would rather play video games. Just like how playing video games, not a personality trait because just a lot of people like it. <laughs> or liking a popular TV show. Oh, you're so quirky. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to go off on it because it's, it's just, it's such a fucking stupid thing. Anyways, irrelevant either way. Okay, um, are the guys going to let me revive my fossil? Because if they are, then I can potentially... If we... Uh, right, I've forgotten this game. It's mandatory to use the bicycle. Sheesh. Okay. Uh, I don't know what button it is to use it. Let's see. Okay. Gotcha. I love the biking music in this game. I really do. I, I mean, to be fair, I'm just kind of a... Uh, how many Pokemon? 141. The XP share. There we go. That's actually what I thought. I thought that's what he was going to give me, and I was hopeful. Because we can take advantage of that. And we can give it to... Uh, who do I want to give it to, though? I think I'll give it to Mac, because Mac is pretty fucking useless. He has no, like he has nothing good. We'll get Juju out front. All right, we can get an encounter here. I think we'll do. We'll go for a little bit longer uh, this episode as well. Cause why not? <laughs> oh, all right. Anyways, I sorry. I don't mean to go off on like these little little tangents where I just get frustrated, dumb shit like. The anime and the fucking dumb shit that happens on Twitter. By the way, follow me on Twitter, Melee Bro HD, because normally I tweet out my videos when they go live because I do not trust YouTube to do it for me. <sighs> I have so many ways to get my videos out to you guys, by the way. So, like, you can follow me on Twitter, and if you don't want to do that, you can join my Discord if you're of age. Because I gotta, I have to say that now, because fucking Discord changed its rules, which, whatever. So I can do that, and that's how I get my videos out to you guys. Real easy stuff. Mm, we're just sub submission it. Anyways, I got ways to get my videos to you guys, so if you're missing them, there you go. There's better ways other than YouTube. Like, yeah, there's the notification system and all that, which is great when it works. Like, I've had problems with it recently, still. I don't know if they've ever bothered fixing it. Also, can we just talk about how stupid it is that YouTube wants to take away the like, dislike, uh, or sorry, they want to take away the dislike button, or they want to give YouTubers the option to take away the dislike button. I don't know about you, but when I'm like looking up tutorials for stuff, I base my decision on what I'm going to watch based off of the like to dislike ratio. The problem is, if you're going to start doing stuff like giving creators the option to take away the dislike button, or the, viewing the dislike ratings, you're kind of giving, I feel like you're giving them a little too much control in my opinion, because you can just delete negative comments and hide the dislike button, and then I'm wasting my time watching this fucking completely useless video, because I always, I build it off of, like, comments, and comments are kind of not helpful in a lot of tutorials even because if it's like a bad or outdated tutorial it'd be good to know like i'm just like please youtube don't do this don't be fucking stupid stupid anyways i don't know i hope they don't bother going through with it i really don't we have other things i need fixing besides the dislike button have people keep keep the dislike button please it's it's important as well i feel like, I feel like it's important for creators to see the dislikes. I mean, yeah. Oh, you can see it in the dashboard. Who fucking cares, though? It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't... It, 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 yeah, it doesn't fucking matter, though. Ah, uh, it's... Oh, Charmander with dry skin? Let's go. All right. I see you, big boy. Round one, wake up. Damn, Charmander's hacking and shit, though, Chief. Let's go. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. What would it say? Marill? All right. Excuse me. 
I have a little bit of a, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Um, uh, um, uh, heartburn. That'd be the thing. Got a little bit of heartburn today, so. I think it's just from not enough sleep and too much acidity in my diet. I guess. Apparently, by the way, a little, little fun fact. Uh, I don't know if this is accurate or not, so don't take my word on. Don't, don't take this as, as fact. Uh, apparently, a way that you can, um, if you have problems with, uh, coffee making you poop all the time, apparently putting some, putting some, uh, milk, putting in some, some milk helps cut down on it. I don't know if that's true or not, uh, cause my milk is spoiled, but I thought it was, I thought it was interesting. I thought it was a little, a little interesting, uh, thing to, to, to note, cause I definitely want to try. I don't really want to try. I think I talked about this in one of my previous episodes, but caffeine for me is like I love it, but it fucks me up. <laughs> like caffeine just fucking ruins me. It makes me shit and piss, <laughs> depending on what I'm drinking. It's terrible. Coffee gives me the shits. I know it's like uh, like apparently coffee is kind of like a laxative as well. I know when I was in Scouts like years ago or in Cubs. Uh, if you wouldn't use the bathroom, they just give you coffee and make you make you gotta ma ma go make you poop. So that's the thing. I talked about how I hate coffee on like long road trips because then I gotta stop every four seconds. It's terrible. And then G fuel like makes me pee all the time. I don't know why. Same thing, right? It's just supposed to be caffeine. I don't understand. My body is brain dead. Like, my my body's actually fucking stupid, I swear to god, and I hate it. Like, Jesus, please. Can we make some sense a little bit, please? <laughs> uh, also, I have a uh, doc... I'm gonna say in quotes, doctor's appointment. I have a video call with uh, a doctor about my shoulder, and I have no idea how we're gonna do a video call to talk about my shoulder and how it's doing i don't know how we're gonna accomplish this entirely but color me intrigued i guess bro to have a grass type right now would be really nice oh shit! i don't know a whole lot about relicanth it's fine we just kill this that didn't kill bro Damn, Relicanth kind of tanky, though. All right, let's go. I'm kind of excited to get, like, a better fighting type move other than just submission, personally. Okay, this is all under the assumption that I can... This is all under the assumption that I can get my, uh, Fossa, by the way. I mean, I guess... Uh, I guess we can, um... No battle, please. No battle, please. No, oh wait, oh wait, 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 this is where we get the uh, item finder, right? And something else. And the, ver the ver versus seeker, the VS seeker. Using that seeker, blah, 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 poke attack. The dazzling machine, yeah, okay. Same shit. Okay, I'm glad she didn't just opt to fight me there, because I would have lost, I, I am not prepped for a battle right now. Okay, let's see if we can get... Because we'll just go to the right, and that's actually another encounter. Do you take fossils yet? Yes. Okay. Uh, so there's the fossil. I don't know what level it's actually going to be at, but hopefully it's something good. <laughs> hopefully, it's a good hopefully it's a good fossil. Also, little fun fact about Combi that I found out when I looked it up on Pokemon DB. It's like... I think 17.5% of combis are female, so there's your little there's your little fun fact of the day. So getting a Vespaquin, yeah, a lot harder than you might think. <laughs> I honestly, if we get like a good mod, I don't know what to get rid of for it. It might, it, it honestly, it might just have to be nothing. It should be a normal mod, like th this. I don't think this can be a legendary. It's just got to be a base mod. Uh, Parasect. Great. 
Great. Hey, it's my starter from Pokemon Gold. Bro, all my Pokemon from Gold are coming back. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to name you Gold, honestly. <laughs> I, I actually can't believe we got another Pokemon from Gold. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, this is, this is fucking ridiculous. I, like, wh what? <laughs> we got so many Pokemon from Gold. Uh, well, he's got Arceus' ability. He's got Spore. I mean, that's not... It's not terrible. I'd honestly just rather keep... Uh, let me see. I'm actually curious. Who's better? Vespaquin or Parasect? Parasect. Uh, okay, Parasect's got 405 base. So we got 405 base and... Wow, Vespaquin's actually quite a bit better. 474 base. Damn. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right. You know what? You know what? We fuck with it. <laughs> All right, we'll gladly take the Claydol back, though. Sheesh. All right. Uh, we have a lot of, like, good backup mons. If we lost someone, we'd have, like, we have really really good backup pairs all right i want to go get my encounter in the cave in case you guys can't tell i give no flying fucks about like leaving it on cliffhanger like oh, we can get our encounter in the next episode maybe i should start doing that a little bit more maybe that's how maybe that's how i get more views maybe that's how i get more consistent views i don't know man i don't really care that much to be honest the like nice thing between this channel and the other channel is for this channel if videos do well great if they don't I'm not gonna stress it too too much. I don't like care all that much to be perfectly honest with you Like I care, but it's not ruining my day if like sorry for the other channel It's not ruining my day if a video doesn't do well on this channel when videos don't do well It ruins my day a little bit, but Also got to remember that I am only a fraction. I'm a tiny fraction of what I used to be so I don't want to bother me that much And actually, I pulled decent views, all things considered. Like, where I am, I managed to pull, like, okay views. Which kind of surprises me a little bit. Ah, uh, that's bad. Um, shit. Okay, Chris. Uh, mud slap? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, sorry. <laughs> We're good. I'm just gonna go heal up real quickly. Uh, but anyways, so if you are new and watching, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss more content. <laughs> and like and all that. Like, everyone knows that. I don't know why YouTubers gotta tell you to like and subscribe. Because, like, you're on the platform. You Most people know how to do it. I guess it's for the kids that, like, don't really understand. Or, like, don't really know. You know what I mean? For like adults, I feel like you already know. I feel like you already know that you that you're supposed to like and subscribe. Just my videos. Everyone else, pff, screw them, just my videos. I'm just saying, based off of how many people I know, that like how many people I talk to, I should be pulling like half a dozen likes per video. And when they don't like my videos, you hurt my feelings. I just I hope you know that. I hope you feel bad. <laughs> I laugh, I laugh, but it's true. Ooh, I'm not gonna risk none of this shit. Fuck that noise. I don't know why I went into Vespaquin. Ah, whatever, it's fine. Let's go. <laughs> Lord, doing some work. Phoebus? Sheesh. We fuck up Phoebus here. Look at this. Speed boosting ass and shit. <laughs> Let's go, Laura, dude. I think I feel like Laura's gonna put in some good work. I really feel like Laura's gonna put in some solid ass work. All right, encounter time, baby. Let's go. <laughs> All right, it was good, Vespaquin. How you doing? God, look at that shit. Oh, it has to fend order and stuff too. It's honestly not too bad. Like, I feel like people sleep on Vespaquin a lot. It's not that bad of a mon. 
rival battle here, I'm pretty sure. So let's just get our encounter first. Something good. Corfish. All right, that's not bad. Not a bad replacement if we ever were to lose Polygraph. This is arguably already better than... This is arguably already better than my other one. My fucking... Uh... Uh... Empoleon. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, this should be a relatively easy catch, I believe. Sorry, I'm only speeding up because... Yeah, we keep missing fucking everything. and drives me insane. Alright, start eating some balls. Out of, we got a decent amount. We got 15 balls, so... This should be an easy catch. Let's go. First ball, baby. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh, sheesh. Busting respectfully. Let's go. I'm so curious about it. I wish they gave you an option to, like, review your Pokemon before you, like, put it in a box. You know what I mean? Like, I'd love to see what this thing has for an ability. Uh, and we'll name this thing, uh, we'll name it Matt. No, fuck. No, that's not... I want a two T's. Matt with two T's. He's got double T's, baby. <laughs> Alright, we're good for a battle right now, right? Yeah, we are. You know what? We're gonna do it in the next. I'm pretty sure we have a battle here, though, before we leave. Or before we get to the next city. See, why couldn't I have gone Grovile? I love Grovile. And it's a grass type, which would have been really nice. I don't know what I would have done to get this, but... Fine, whatever. Okay, I gotta end the episode because I gotta sneeze. It's tickling my right nostril. <laughs> it's driving me insane. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series and you're enjoying watching it as much as I'm enjoying recording it. Yeah, those are all English words, I guess.